Why can't you change Amazon's Alexa's name? I know a few Korean people who would want to swap out Alexa for the name Ah, uh, Ah, uh, uh, Alexa, no. Ah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Siri and Alexa are like friends or frenemies. Not trying to stir the pot, but like, I asked Siri what she thought about Alexa, Cortana, Google Assistant. Siri said nothing substantive. She just gave me a whole silver platter of sass. And I didn't like it, but I kind of liked it. The signals that Siri was sending me were so confusing. It's like middle school girls or like really adult lady girls being very aggressive and adamant about not talking smack about someone, about being nice. No, 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 I have nothing bad to say about Alexa or Cortana, they are, they are the sweetest. <laughs> yeah. I love them. They are lovely. During the age of discovery, if you had a low-key name like Alan Smith or Frank Johnson and you had dreams of becoming an explorer, well, forget it. Stop wasting your time and go get a job in an apothecary. God. Because all of the most legit explorers had the most legit names. Vasco da Gama, Juan Ponce de Leon, Amerigo Vespucci, Vespucci, Sir Francis Drake, was a sir. Cristobal Colon. Cristobal! Okay, and side note, uh, Cristobal Colon, quite possibly more offensive than any other cologne I've smelled on an old man because those colognes always make me wanna. So, just a little advice to all you Frank Allens and John Smithsons of the 1400s and the 1500s and the 1600s and the 1700s because I know you're all out there still. If you want to roll with the Ferdinand Magellans of the world, you want to discover some like treasure rich land masses, well you gotta get a new name. You need a new government name, you gotta spice it up. Wait, catch 22. You need a spicy name to be an explorer, but you can't be an explorer unless you have a spicy name. And you can't have a spicy name unless you get the spices, and you can't have the spices unless you're an explorer. Okay. I don't know why I just did that, but you guys, let's talk about the Picasso Ruth contest because it was so the truth. Ruth. It was challenging and so I, I mean I noticed that because there are a lot less entries than you know in previous contests but they all were super quality. Garnet Gem, Jessica Asija, Anime T20, Milo's Bad Drawings, top notch stuff. Um, I did choose a runner up which w is a surprise I'm sure to you. It's also a surprise to me. I didn't know I was gonna have a runner up but like I had to. Clarence your universe Thank you, I absolutely adore the triptych. Yes, so please DM me, send me your mailing address or a mailing address so I can give you is a signature whammy by lapel pin. And the shiatsu massage, please. The winner was Alexander Jamilton. So let's chat about this for a sec. Because I know that Alexander Jamilton's won in the past and I was thinking, is that fair, is it not? But like, you can look at the entry, it's great. Alexander Jamilton based the Picasso Ruth portrait on an actual Picasso portrait in addition to like a really busted screen cap of Ruth. So props to you, okay. You guys, thank you so much. I definitely wanna hear from you, so leave a comment below and hopefully you'll ask me some questions or tell me what I'm doing wrong in my life. That would be great. That'd be so great. Hope you got the Q&A. I finally did it. Yay. You only waited like, you know, eight months. That's pretty cool. Um, But I will do another one next month. So yeah, leave comments and leave other questions below. The we will look better. Like, I welcome it. And of course, if you had fun today, please like, subscribe, share. Um, Yeah, I love you to bits. You know, I love you to kibbles a bits. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.